Hello boys and girls. Guess what? We have a special guest today. This is Dr. Hernandez, and I have a special guest with me. Look who's here. Look who's here. It's Skippy John Jones. And he is going to be reading along with us today. All right, Skippy John. I'm gonna go ahead and give you back to Mama. Here, Junebug Jones. Take little baby with you. Today we're going to be reading Skippy John Jones. It's a story about a crazy kitten who really wants to be a chihuahua. <laughs> okay, well, this story has a couple of uh, what we call limericks, and you'll notice them in, uh, in the rhyme part of the story. So come along, find a good spot, and enjoy Skippy John Jones by Judy Shackner. Skippy John Jones by Judy Shackner. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Bridges, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mr. Doohiggy's bird bath. The lecture went on and on, as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat. Not a bird, not a mouse, or a grouse, not a moose, or a goose, not a rat, or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. Of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed, and once or six times I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole! exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up he went again, and again it appeared. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he said, My ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a Chihuahua! Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a muy, muy soft voice. My name is Skippito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the cello. I get the job done, yes, indeed -o. Back in the kitchen, Jujube, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? 
asked Jujubee. No, answered Mama Jumbo Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road, far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a misterioso band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay caramba! Who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Skipito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? Asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skipito. Do you like rice and beans? Asked Pintolito. Si, I love mice and beans, said Skipito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password, Leaning toward Don Diego, El Skipito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, 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 Chupichu! Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Skipito. Then it is true decreed Don Diego. Yip, yippy, yippito! It's the end of Alfredo Basito! Skipito is here! We have nothing to fear! Adios to the bad Bumblebito! Then all the of the chimichangos went crazy loco! First, they had a fiesta. Then, they took a siesta. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumblebeetle for Skipito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Bazito, whispered the crowd. El Blimpo Bumblebeetle Bandito. Si, sí, said Poquito Tito. The Bandito steals our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Skipito, outraged. Si, sí. Poquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly too. And now he comes for us, Poquito added. Por qué? asked Skipito. Because we are full of the beans too. Then Don Diego stood tall and in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? asked Gibito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Poquito Tito. And you are the dog with the jaw. Me? asked Gibito. Then all of the chimichangos turned towards Gibito, the great sword fighter. But poor Skipito had no time for a plan 
because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichango scattered in all directions. Vamos, Kipito! Where is you? The bandito will eat you! They cried. Skipito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello, and his teeth chattered like the castanets. Then, in a muy muy soft voice, he said, My name is Skipito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfredo Bandito flew straight for Skipito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles! cried Skipito as he thrust his sword in the air. Suddenly, went the bandito, landing on Skipito's sword. And quicker than one could say, Chihuahua cheese and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bazito, the Bumblebito Bandito. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yip, yippee, yippito! Our hero is El Skipito. He's a dog of our dreams who delivered the beans, and now we can make our burritos. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Bandito! Crescito! Papito! Skippito! Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then out flew candy, beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones! Everyone cried. Hola muchachitas, he said in a muy, muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh! I'm Skippy John Jones with the mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Buenas noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. <laughs>